All right. Well, today was testing day, and um, I uh, hooked the solar panel up to a 20-foot extension cord that I made um, that I cut from a 50-foot extension cord, 14-gauge wire. And we had a little bit of sun before I had to go to work. Um, hooked it up to this light bulb. It's a 9-watt light bulb, one of those efficient ones. Um, that's supposed to put out 40 watts of power, but only uses 9 watts. Now, I thought that that solar panel would put out more than 9 watts, so I thought um, that we would be able to light this light bulb. Um, it's only 8 cells in the panel. Um, this is made for AC, but to make a long story short, it didn't work. Um, I think this requires more power than uh, the panel is capable of putting out. Or it could be because the uh, panel is DC and this is set up for AC and maybe stuff that I don't understand with resistance and um, stuff like that, it didn't work. But I went to the dump before work. After that failure, I realized I am going to need something smaller. So, I went to the dump and picked up this junk computer. Uh, compact Presario, somebody threw it out in the dump and I picked it up to rape it for parts. And I got miniature lights out of it. I got a fan. Um, now, I got a chance to, um, test the panel using my desktop light with the 20-foot extension cord, the green one that's over there, and my helper, William. But, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if, uh, William's mom, my better half, wants William on YouTube, so... I'm making a second video to show you that this panel works. Um, me and William tested it out. We got this LED computer light. It was hooked to the uh, power. So when you turned it on, this lit up to let you know the power was on on the computer. Um, it's a really cool green light, and uh, it worked. Now I'm going to show you that it works. All right, a little tough to do, doing these videos with an iPhone, so, all right, let's see. Uh, green on this, I found out, is power. So, hook that up to... See if I can get this on green to power. Black is to negative. I'm not really getting this on film, but you're gonna get the idea. Alright, I have the black is hooked up to negative. The green is hooked up to positive the light bulb. Just going to let it dangle here, put the solar panel up to the light, to my desk light, see if I can get all this in the same shot, so you can see that there's no tricks, no batteries, alright, now, here's the desk light, the solar panel, seems like i got to get it pretty close to it, now you can see, that light is glowing. I move it back, that light goes out. Move it in. I don't know if you can tell on this video. Actually, you can see the green, the sticker on the back of the uh, solar panel is glowing green. I move it back, and that light is out. Move it, move it up, you can see that light coming on. Move it back, 
it's out. Uh, I'd like to get another angle of this. Uh, you should be able to tell that. Let me turn off some of the lights in here. Get a little darker. Turn off this light. All right. That should be a little better. It's a little darker in here now. All right. Same thing. Put it up to the panel, and that light is glowing. That light is glowing. Um, 60 watt light bulb powering an LED light off of a computer. Move it away. That light goes out. Move it in. That is that is power, baby. That is powering that light. Definitely powering that light. The panel works. Bottom line, the panel works. The panel does work. The wiring was correct. Um, so, I mean, the whole thing to me is a success because I wasn't looking for anything special out of this panel. I wanted to practice the wiring procedures that I learned on YouTube, and uh, it works, bottom line. This is eight cells, um, haven't really gotten a chance to test stuff in the sun, so uh, I imagine if this light bulb powers the panel, the sun is definitely going to power the panel. Um, wasn't enough to light the, the, the light bulb that I tried earlier, the 40 watt, even though it only required 9 watts of power. But uh, tomorrow during the day, hopefully the sun is shining, we can test other stuff on it. And uh, hey, we're going to build bigger panels. This is 8 cells. We're going to go 36 to 40 cells on the next one. I'm thinking... Uh, Possibly 40 cells. I like the idea of 20 volts. Um, don't know um, how good qu of quality the cells are that I have. And um, maybe uh, the extra power we're going to need. I have about 400 cells. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, you know, I'm probably going to break a few, you know, along the way. But hey, I got enough to make 10 panels. 10 panels, we should be able to power some stuff. So, uh, hey, I'd like to hear your comments. Any tips? Um, anyone that's seen these videos have? Um, you know, shortcuts, uh, different things that they can do. Um, someone mentioned to me that uh, you need to get resistors. So the power only flows one way. I picked up some of those. Don't know where they are right now. But uh, I'm going to hook those up to my next panel, definitely, because you don't want reverse current. Um, probably the next uh, thing we'll, is, is we're going to hook, hook a, a panel up to a battery. But I definitely wanted to see that the panel was doing all the powering and not getting power from a battery. So the test, my first test had to be just with the panel and something. I wanted to see the panel light something in. It obviously did, so. I don't know if you're excited, but I'm really excited. This is exciting to me. But, uh, like to hear your comments. Get back to me. Peace out. God bless.